Hello, John Lane with The Second Look, uh, talking a little bit today about why different people, or possibly even you, uh, have experienced multiple injuries or multiple concerns on one side of the body. Uh, so as a ther therapist, I often have the report or complaint that my body's breaking down I'm all, and it's only happening on the left side. It's always the left side, um, whatever side that would be. Uh, there are multiple explanations for this. Uh, one could be uh, compensation, changing how you move because you had an injury to a joint or an area and you're favoring it. Uh, so if your knee is hurt, you don't want to bend it, you bend more at your hip or you move to at your ankle and those other areas get stressed. Different way of looking at it when you could have different events over a period of time is a, a neuromuscular memory or neuromuscular event that leads to uh, what's termed neuromuscular inhibition, uh, which is a fancy term for weakness or reduced uh, performance of a muscle or a group of muscles because the nervous system is not allowing it to uh, have full intensity. This really does lead to an additional risk because if you challenge or move quickly uh, through an area and one area is not moving as fast, it, it will get stressed differently. So, from my own uh, experiences, uh, i talk about uh, a couple events that happened over a several years period for myself. So, uh, the longest injury I've ever dealt with was in my hip. Uh, my right side dealt with it from 2000, or 1998 to 2011. Uh, so I stressed a muscle along the glute, showing a limping pattern to a couple of different classes. Showed both sides, but I stressed just the right side. And uh, a year or so ago, I thought about why did I have just the right side? And I remembered that uh, in 1996, or two years before that, I had a, about a one-week episode of lower back concerns where when I bent over to pick up a softball, didn't pick up something heavy, just bent over to pick it up, felt a small pop, and later that day felt weakness in my uh, right leg, had a hard time going upstairs, had a hard time uh, getting up from a chair. And so I, I again thought about, well, why did I have an event on the right side with such a simple activity that I had done plenty of times before? Um, and I thought again about how in 1993, I had actually had an event with my lower leg where I had an impact event that led to the muscles being uh, stiff or weakened uh, after the initial injury that actually did take several months to get resolution. Um, but again, we're in going now chronological order, 1993 had an event at my lower leg. Three years later, had an event at my lower back. Two years after that, had the most meaningful event at the hip. Um, so, if you or somebody you know has been experiencing multiple concerns or multiple events uh, on just one side, it's worth getting a look at to see if there's ongoing, uh, low symptom level, but ongoing uh, concerns at the lower back if it's the leg or the neck if it's at the shoulder or arm.